Oh, it is warm. I've always wanted a fireplace, however, the house I'm in isn't set up for one, so I've been out of luck. Plus, it's actually super hot over here, so I'd actually be better off with a bunch of air conditioners surrounding me at all times. But that hasn't stopped me from loving the look of a fireplace with the flames dancing, and it just sets the vibe, especially on those date nights. Trust me. So what we have here is actually something that'll fit what I'm looking for. We have the Beam Nova electric fireplace for indoor use. It's completely smoke-free, odorless, safe around pets and children. The actual casing up here, all of this is gonna stay cool to touch so kids and pets can touch it. Although underneath is where the heating element is and I think that's gonna get pretty hot. So make sure you stay away from that. So in that case, I'm not sure how it's safe for pets and children if the part right here that's exposed on the bottom is super hot. So make sure you keep an eye on them. It has two heating modes, low and high, and you could adjust the temperature at will, as well as adjust the way the flames looked to make it extra bright, make it a little dim, somewhere in the middle, whatever you want to set that vibe. And this little fireplace that's portable, like look how small it is, you could take it from room to room whenever you want to move around, it can heat up a 400 square foot room. So that's actually pretty impressive. Obviously I already took it out of the box because I knew this was gonna be a hassle trying to do this in the studio on this table. So I got everything ready for us right here. Inside the box we do have an instruction guide which for once I actually recommend you take a look at because there's a lot of safety tips in here that you don't wanna miss. We have four legs to install on the bottom so it could stand up a little bit elevated because right now it's actually resting on the heating element and I'm not sure that's a good idea, especially on carpeted floors. And then we also have a bag of screws to screw the legs into place. Now taking a look at the actual design, it looks super nice, got a nice metal design we have stainless steel door handles with some tempered glass on the front so you can see the flame right through it you can open it up it's nicely magnetically shut that way it's not gonna be popping open although opening it up and sticking your hand inside isn't gonna do anything because remember it's all cool to touch in here down here is where it's probably gonna get hot up here it's nice and cool we do have two knobs here the one on the left adjusts the brightness of the logs in the flame remember it's all fake flame so it's not gonna get any hotter and then right here we have a temperature knob to adjust the temperature as high as you want remember you can have it low you can have it high it's up to you over here on the right side of the power button that'll turn on the flames. As you can see, they're really dim right now. You can adjust it all the way up, make it super bright, and that flame looks super nice. Then we have two more switches here. This is for low heat, and this is for high heat. You turn them both on for high, turn this one on for low, and then you can adjust the temperature as well. As the heating element heats up, it does have a fan to blow the heater around to heat up a 400 square foot room. And just look at that, it looks super nice. That flame, Although it's fake, it still looks cool and it'll set the mood for sure. See right here on the bottom is the heating element, it says do not cover and I'm pretty sure you shouldn't touch this while it's on because it looks like it'll get pretty hot. Alright so now what I'm going to do is install the legs real quick so we can see what it looks like fully set up and I'll be right back. Well of course I'm the one who got the defective one because this leg right here I couldn't get in because the prong on the leg wouldn't fit into the base so I had to literally shave the hole down to make it bigger to get this to fit in. Wow, I did it. Took me a few minutes, but I got it set up. Everything seems sturdy, hopefully. <laughs> you don't want this thing to go toppling over. But we got it set up now. We got power. So let's test this thing on out. Like I said, we have three buttons here. One to power it on. This turns on everything. This one's for low heat. This one's for high heat. Temperature knob here. We'll just turn it all the way up. Whoa. I can instantly feel it getting hot. Oh, I can smell the burning too. I wonder if it's going to turn red. Oh yeah, we could turn this up. You know, let's do this. Hey, kill all the lights. Oh yes, yes, yes. Take a look at what we're working with here. Look at that flame. The heat is definitely coming from the bottom. Hopefully you guys can see this. It is red. Do not touch this because it is really, really hot. I can definitely feel the, oh, it is warm. See, so I don't know how this is child and pet safe if the bottom gets super hot like this. Like up here, all this is cool to touch. That's perfectly fine. But right here, this is where cats are going to be crawling underneath and everything. That's dangerous. Wow, just take a look at that. Now let's dim the lights down a bit. Or the flame. Which one is it? This one? Actually, so we're maxed out. And now we'll start going down. Look at that. You can have a nice ambiance of flames going on. Looking super nice. I'm really digging it. It's getting hot, though. Let me turn down the heat. Whew. Wow. Let me turn off the heat. It's getting too hot in here. But wow, this looks super nice. I'm definitely liking it. The flame here, like the one thing that's cool about it is you can have the heat off, but have the flame on so you can still get the fireplace experience without having all the heat. Because right now, especially during summertime, it is super hot. We do not need any more heat, but I just love to have a fireplace here. That just looks so nice. Hey, the lights on. Just take a look at that. Even with the lights on, you can kind of see the flames a bit. You can definitely see the logs. It looks super nice. Bottom down here. I don't want to touch it, but it cooled down. 
It's probably still hot though, that's metal down there. But overall, this is really nice. Other than this leg not wanting to go on and having to rig it up myself, everything looks nice. I love these doors here, just a nice, super nice electric fireplace. I can definitely recommend it. Hopefully you don't get a defective one like I did. I'm not sure if this would actually heat up a 400 square foot room. Although, I mean, it's definitely possible. It's blowing the heat out. It's probably going to eventually fill up the whole room. It might take a little bit, but, you know, it should do it. It's definitely hot, though, right here, so that's good. It, we know it is heating up. But overall, I'm really liking it. It's super nice to watch the flames dance, and I just love the fireplace look, the fireplace vibe. I'm glad I can have it without having the heat, or if I want the heat, I can choose to have that, too.